Whoa! Uh -oh. Caught me without a shirt on again. You know what? I don't care. You know why? Because I'll be lucky I get nine views on this video. So why should I? I'm going to demonstrate through my speech and mannerisms what it will be like should you ever have to enter the worst case scenario. But first, we got to start off with a observational joke that I intend to include in the comedy routine that it will be ongoing around the fires at night because that's the only thing we're going to have for light at night during the transition period. There's been one constant in my life that I've been able to count on. The fact that people will not listen. They won't listen about things that are going on in their home. They won't listen about things that are going on in their life. And more than likely, they're not going to listen when it comes down to automotive advice. Until, and this is the last resort aspect, they don't have any other choice. Until they're out of options and don't know what the hell to do. And all of a sudden, they're all ears. And I'm the smartest freaking person they know. But I'm going to give you, let you in on a little something. You're not ready to live in that world. And I know it. And that's why I produce and have been produced over the years the content that I make. I just assume avoid all that. Because there's nothing I hate more than people whining about a situation they could have changed after the fact. Because by the time you get to that, there's no point. But anyway, if you haven't seen where we are, how we got there, and where we're potentially heading, when it actually gets here, and as I've said many times, there's going to be a period of darkness between where we are now and where they want to take us. And in there, that's where I live. That's where the last resort is located. You're not going to make it. Because you didn't see. And quite frankly, your situational awareness sucks. And the, the funny and ironic part is the very people who are, are pushing to bring this a, about now, they're definitely not going to make it. Because you know why they hate us? Because we know how to do stuff. We've been in situations that they've never been in as they push us towards that situation. I find that to be kind of funny, truthfully. But you would do best to, at the very least, stand up for your constitution. And I don't give a shit what you think about the other guy. If he's talking about the constitution and the other guy ain't, that's who you should be supporting. Whether you believe he's the genuine article or not. Because the constitution give you, gives you a chance. What they're offering gives you no chance at all. Now, for the liberal left, who more than likely is probably my biggest viewership, even though it doesn't show in the count. You freaking idiots. Do you know anything about Islam? The very people that, the your leaders that you keep following to your doom keep standing behind and promoting? What do you think would happen if you went to an Islamic country and promoted transgenderism, promoted all of the things that you're free to promote here, by the way? You get your ass thrown off a roof because they don't tolerate that stuff. And when the time comes and and, and if you make it through the transitional period, which you won't, by the way, you'll get thrown off the roof. It's just that simple. 
if you think it's all going to be rainbows, political correctness, and pronouns, <laughs> you got another thing coming, baby. It ain't going to be like that. That's not the order they are pushing for. It's merely a ruse to get you to do what they want you to do. But hey, some people got to learn shit the hard way. And usually, based on my experience in my life out in the world, it hurts to learn stuff the hard way. And sometimes learning the hard way is the last thing you'll ever learn. I feel sorry for the people who think that they can take the values that they have now into the transitional period. None of that stuff's going to fly. You're going to preach nonviolence and forgiveness in that world. You're going to have a hard time. Especially if you're going to try and stand in front of me. Because I'm going to do what needs to be done. Because according to the way I understand this, and this comes right out of the Bible, if you want your reward, you better make it to the end. And that's just the way it is. That's why I've com compared what we're looking at to a human demolition derby. You ain't getting paid. You ain't getting the hardware called the trophy unless you can make it to the end. And in that world, it's going to re require some ruthless, ruth blah, 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 ruthlessness, some coldness. If you can't handle it, I don't know what to tell you. Hide in your house. Hope you got enough food and nobody ever comes to raid your supplies. Because if it comes down to going out into the world, it'll be just like the newbie at the derby ring who just luckily got through all the heats and made it in the feature. Because when the feature starts, you're in there with a whole bunch of people that know what they're doing. And if you're caught unaware, don't have good situational awareness, it'd be the roughest ride you've ever taken. And and your sore and achy bones will last for weeks and you'll never forget that experience. And in this case, that's if you manage to survive.